the key to intimacy is vulnerability. There is no intimacy in relationship without revealing ourselves to other people and without having the capacity to receive the insides of others without taking it personally and going into our reactive bullshit. So really to cut through our avoidant bullshit, we need to learn a way of expressing ourselves that's not projection and that's not reactive. And the way that I suggest people practice this, and again, this is just the, the Tung Fu practice. This is you in the dojo working on this, and you get to actually bring this into regular interactions because it works, is you add a little bullshit softener to the situation. Okay? If you haven't already done it, why don't you go ahead and download the Tung, the tung Fu softener worksheet and start writing some of this stuff down. But softener is an acronym that stands for stories, observations, feelings, needs, and requests. It's a no bullshit format for being authentic with people, for giving them genuine reflection. Okay, first of all, you have your story. We've all got stories in our heads about what's going on in the world, what people are thinking, the quality of another human being, what they are, who they are. All right, so you gotta just acknowledge there's a story. If you got the worksheet in front of you, take a moment, pause the video, and write down your story. To think of somebody who you've got an issue with, something that happened this week or last week that's just stuck with you and kind of stuck in your gut a little bit. And write the story out. So and so is a such and such, you know? The next step is to translate that story into an observation, to translate that projection bullshit into an observation. Now the third step is, to state how you feel when that observation, when you saw that thing happen, when that person said that thing or did that thing. How did you feel? Did you feel frustrated? Did you feel angry? Did you feel ecstatic? Did you feel sad? Did you feel guilty or ashamed? How did you feel? The third step is to connect with the needs that were coming up for you around that. So you may have had a need for connection. You may have had a need to be seen or to be understood that didn't get met. You may have had a need for a sense of belonging. Whatever it was, what, what was that need? Or what was, what was that little family of needs that wasn't met for you in that interaction that initiated these negative feelings? And then the last step is, what would you like to ask for in a conversation? This is a real thing. What would you ask for if you could do it over again? Or what would you ask for if you were talking to this person about it right now? Would you ask for them to reflect back to you what you're telling them to make sure that they understand it? Would you ask them to tell you how they feel hearing what you've just said? Or would you ask them for a concrete action that you think would better meet your needs? There are all kinds of ways you can do it. But the fundamental reality of being here and human is that we, we while we are all dreaming our own dream, sometimes our dreams get a little self-referent. and We need other people's reflections to get a sense of where we are. You see, th in three-dimensional reality, we need two eyes to triangulate to actually see depth in any space. It's kind of the same way with humans. If we're walking around not getting any feedback from anybody, it's like walking around with one eye shut. When we have two eyes, we can triangulate on things that otherwise we might not be able to see ourselves. We are essential to one another's running sense of reality in ourselves. If I don't know how I'm impacting people in my life, then I might be making more choices that have negative impact on people. If people don't tell me this, then they just go around maybe talking about it behind my back or something? How does that benefit me at all? And how does that benefit them? It doesn't benefit anybody. But when we give each other authentic feedback, we're giving each other a reflection. It doesn't mean that everything anybody says or any feeling anybody has is really about you and you need to do something different. It means that we have the capacity to connect. We have the capacity to talk about things. This is essential skills for intimate comfort to inter This is essential skills for intimate relationship. Essential. 
we have to be able to give each other reflection, hear that reflection, and collaborate on ways to get our needs better met. But if we're on our avoidant bullshit, we're either walking on eggshells or getting ready to explode. And nobody wants that. So step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your shell. Open up. Be vulnerable. Share your insides with people. Of course, of course you could get hurt. It's always a risk. But intimate connection and real relationship is worth the risk. Uh-huh.